Hello everyone, Daniel here. Today we're back with another biogas video. It's gonna be an interesting one, yet a little bit of a sad one, because the date is coming closer where I need to move and I've got to pack up everything, and that means the biodigesters have to be decommissioned. But this gives us a chance to have a look about what, what's inside of it. Over the last two years I've had it running uh, in this shed, both of them, we had to disconnect it, drag it out and empty them, and just yeah, get, get a visual of what's inside. Over the past two years, these two digesters have been our supplier of nice gas and fertilizer. Like I said, now it's time to disconnect everything and pack it up. So being where we are, it's been cold, so we've had the insulation. I guarantee over those two years, there's been some mice and rats and all nasties under there. So we're gonna chuck all this out anyway. Where I'm moving to is more suitable and warmer anyway, so probably won't need it. But good opportunity to just unwrap it, see how it's all been going, and eventually get it all back up and running. Probably with some new stuff like this. My first ever airlock there, or a little scrubber, I reckon that could be probably upgraded. <laughs> Let me check the lines. And see how these the seals actually held up. Because I've got the uni seals from um, from when I installed it. Down here, see? Everything needs a bit of a wash anyway. So these uni seals down here, they seem to have done a good job. Held out for two years. Anyway. I've got a pallet jack that I've had to hire. We're going to unwrap this and then drag it out. Definitely a lot of mouse poo on here. I'm going to take this outside. Back bit. Yep. see tunnels of where mice have been. Equalising and pressure. So there's still this much gas inside of it. Up we go! Jim. <laughs> well, we got it out the door. That's good. See, so there's still quite a fair bit in there. And the feed pipes to a bit of solid stuff there. But we're going to empty it out. Awesome thing about IBCs. We've got the valve down there. Now, should any hassle with chemicals and whatnot, it's all organic, it's just fertilizer, and pretty much this area is buggered anyway. It's got full of rabbit holes, everything's caving in here. So, if there's any solids in there, hopefully, it'll fill the bloody holes. Things have done some damage. A little bit of solid came out first. Essentially, if I could be bothered, that's money flowing down there, all the fertilizer. Down to the chunky bottom now. This is the second lot coming out. So from memory, this was the fresher of the two tanks. I 
couldn't drag it out as much as I can. I've nearly given myself a bloody hernia dragging that out. But there's a will, there's a way. I have thumbs. I'm smart. By the tank. So out of these, uh, still going. I think it's about 250 litres worth of solid. I think we were filling it to about 900, just under 900 for the liquid. All the eggshells seems they don't digest. All the digesters are cleaned up, table's cleaned up. I'm just gonna pack up the rest of the scrubbing gear and the hoses, but like the shed, we're packing up. Time's getting close. Saying that, I'm very grateful for all the support that I've had with this biogas and biodigester escapades. I said, just a dude in a shed with some plastic tubs and anyone can do it, whether you go in depth or just want to create some gas and get rid of some waste. Easy done. Now saying that, also very grateful that one of my viewers has actually taken on my project as well. So my second digester, he came and picked it up. Good on you, Kenny. Mate, I wish you all the best and um, get some gas flowing and look after those alpacas. We've gone from just a jug with hosing hose out to this where I can actually see the, the scrubbing happening and materials that if they were degrading and then moving on to these where I can actually see quite clearly through there and see the levels see if there's moisture accumulating at the bottom as we go we learn more my faithful old air compressor that everyone said it was going to blow me up well two years later two and a half years later I'm still here, this is still here. I know there is still potential danger and um, I do take that very seriously, but the com biogas compressors are like $20,000 and I don't have that laying around. So I'll continue to use this. My bag, still got a little bit of gas left in it. So I'll do a bit of a burn off just to get rid of the methane out of there and not put it back in the atmosphere and pack this up as well, clean it up, pack it up. Well guys, I think that's about it for this. Um, silver lining is, when I actually do move, we'll set the digester back up, start from scratch, and put everything what I've said into more video content for you guys to learn, and uh, for me to learn again. So I'll probably end up doing the big uh, IBC with the cow manure, but I've also got the, the blue, um, smaller barrel, which I might start with grass and um, the enzymes, the little uh, pellets, just to prove that that works as well. And we'll go step by step, day by day with that. And uh, new adventures await. So until then, thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you hopefully in about a month or two's time. For biogas, that is. All right, thanks guys. See ya, have a great day.